There is no organized crime. The team's there's not going to see you else. in jail, Mr. Hoffa. For in what? Jail. What do you fucking do? The pension fund. The pension fund has the best record in the country on loans. Oh, bullshit. Best record in the country. Bullshit. You're the working man. You ever heard of work? Look, you know what I work want is? I man in jail, and I'm not going to stop until I see Who you behind Who in the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Fuck you, and fuck your threats, and fuck your brother. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's all stoned. Okay. That guy's so good. He's great. Like, Thank you. That yeah. was the hardest I've ever seen Rob laugh. He fucking, he like couldn't breathe. He was laughing so hard at that guy. He loved him. Oh, Rob the Banks. first time I saw him, he was hilarious. He's I mean, great. like he he did that cafe show yeah. that I was on. Oh. And Rob had no clue who he was. <laughs> and Rob was fucking tired. I was like, holy shit, man. You all right? That's right. He handed you the closing position. That night. He did. See? Gimmicks can be funny. Yeah. He was funny. He got pissed at me, though. I was writing I in a notebook once in front of him. He stopped his act. Oh, he really? told me to stop writing. Yes, please stop writing. Please stop writing. Oh, he wanted your full attention. I guess, or he's afraid I'm going to steal. Like, what? I'm, like I can do your fucking material? Yeah. No, the, no, that's fucking stepladder joke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's Jack. He's legit mentally. He's got some problems. Well, that's that's I mean, half, it works the, for him. half the community. Comedy community just, just came from a show of it. Just a good half. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. On my right. At Mitchell Versey at Versey Triplets. We're going to be in Nashville on the 24th at Zandy's. Well, at like Nashville p- when you're done. Yeah. I stepped in the plug. Sorry. Uh, at 4 p.m. on a Sunday, which is the worst possible time. We're also competing with Joe Rogan Stadium show. So it's going to be a what's, sellout probably. But what's the date? I stepped on it. I'm sorry. October 24th at okay. 4 p.m. Oh, that's Sunday. coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. We'll wow. be going on. Uh, uh, I wish I can go. Yeah. Nice. I know someone moving to Nashville. All right. Yeah. On my left. Luke Allen at Uncle Luke 2 on Instagram, live from the 405 podcast. The only podcast you need to worry yourself about. It's free on iTunes and other places. Oh, is it? Yes, I didn't know it is. that. I thought you had to pay. No. Nope. Paywall. It's, it, the cost on your soul <laughs> is. <all> pay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Believe me, it's not free. <laughs> <laughs> you walk out a different person after you listen to You do. It's like a hostage <laughs> crisis. <laughs> All righty. And our special guest, one of our really, really good friends. Please welcome the one and only. I'm going to let Luke name him because you've got a ton of good names for this guy. Fred Murder Murphy. Ow! It's very nice. Of you. <laughs> the Murph Man <laughs> Prophecy. Yeah. No social media. No, that's Cameron Moffat. It's the Moffat. I thought you didn't know. I, like I, the I shut it all down. Oh, I got okay. too tired. I have to fucking stay home too much because of my kid. And yeah. uh, it's hard to watch my buddies level up. You don't like it? <laughs> 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 I'm a jealous man who can't enjoy the successes get, of his friends. I get that a lot, too. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> There's times I watch it and I'm just like, no, nobody you, in this room, but. Oh. <laughs> that's good. You, you don't want to be a you don't want to be a content creator that seems right up your alley. Oh God! <laughs> you, you can hear the oh, devil cra- <laughs> the devil cracking his fingers from the deal he's Tell you what, <laughs> <laughs> he's content to kill them. <laughs> Tell you what, Fred, we can get you started on TikTok. You know, we'll get you. I'd talk if people would listen, but I don't. I'm not That's, sure. Yeah. Oh. You had a podcast for a minute. It was I liked it. It the, wasn't bad. With the 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 obituary one or the first one? Yeah, the yeah, the uh, the obituary one. That was fun. Yeah, I yeah. Remember, what was it? I read an obituary every day. Somebody's <laughs> obituary, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I got a real mixed bag of reactions in the mail. As so it would, people, yeah, people were very happy. You really captured the spirit of my mom and some new motherfucker. How could you do this? You're commemorating them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was weird when he was showing up to their doors jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, yeah. I want to confirm some of this information. <laughs> He'd show up with a big blow up like of their face, and then he would cut the mouth out and stick his tongue out. <laughs> when they looked at the peephole like in Goonies. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad. After a while, I settled for, uh, I found people with, who shared names with serial killers. Oh, oh. shit. Uh, yeah, where, uh, Adolf Hitler. I found an Adolf Hitler who died of Hitler. And, uh, oh, there was another one. 
There was no. I actually didn't find a Hitler. Uh, Hitler uh, Adolf. I found a Hitler a relative who died here. Oh. Oh wow. And then, Fucking uh, hate. Tragic way or. No, regular old. Oh. You know, regular old. Heart disease, <laughs> the way Hitler Reg- wanted to go. Regular old suicide. Yeah, yeah. okay. Got, old, it was ironic he got yeah, run over by a Jew. A <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's been a little while. Um, I just want to say this, and then you can thank your audience too, brother. Um, like they're rough. If you, <laughs> if you came out to San Diego uh, any of those two nights, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. A uh, quick couple shout outs. Thank you to Cassandra for coming, a friend of mine. Um, and thank you to the, from the, I mean, the fucking bartenders to the comics, even to the bookers. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming. And my buddies, Luke Stern and Jordan, thank you well, for coming. I really, really it appreciate help it. Eric. We had to come support. Made the trek all the way down. God bless you. I was busy. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I had something okay. else to do. Good. Um, Watching my ex's dog. <laughs> 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 Priorities. And then uh, also Cam Pendleton, uh, thank you guys oh, for yeah. having me back again. That was fucking great. Uh, you were some rowdy motherfuckers, but you, I got you to behave when I threatened rape. So yeah. <laughs> that, I guess there's a cure. Same for you. Thing, we you used to babysit. Same tactic. <laughs> <laughs> Old habits die hard. <laughs> <laughs> were you uh, were you doing cosplay of a tank out there? No. <laughs> Yo, you laughed at that fuck. It's a Jesus. fat joke. Uh, I know. I was, I, I was laughing. It was a like, cough play. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he turned lemons into lemonade. <laughs> uh, turned some fighter. Listen to Mitch Chocolate squeezing a lemon. You get all over your fucking face. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, how are your shows? <laughs> well, he's choking. He's choking on his water. <laughs> I'm not full of water. Right? <laughs> Uh, they're good. Phoenix was dope. Uh, was out there with Willie Mack. Um, oh, good old Willie. Doing Big Pine Comedy Festival. Not going to lie, my brothers and I kind of ate a dick. Um, really? It was an empty, it was a Monday night. Only The only people there were the industry, which is like whatever the fucking panel they invited there, and they were all just sitting in the back. Do they have industry out there? Uh, apparently for this, they had like some people that drove in. Oh. Um, and yeah, not our Christmas. So, But anyways, thanks for everybody that came out. Oh yeah! How yeah. long did you do? It was like seven minutes. Oh really? Yeah, to an empty to, to a wall, pretty much. Oh yeah, it was what the uh, fuck. Not a deal. There was a good football game on. Though. How was uh, <laughs> how did Willie do? Willie did great. Willie always does great. But so. like, was there people there by the time? Will, he went we were on? on different shows. Willie Willie got oh. the show, the Tuesday show that actually had real people oh. that was there, and he fuck. There was much much better. There was also a twin act, and one of their guys in that act has a lisp as well. What the fuck? Are you Swear kidding to God. me? This is like fucking Swear bizarre. To God. This is like uh, this is like that movie Us, but fucking <laughs> Us. more terrifying. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Off. Us. <laughs> Damn it. But so, great shows overall. Were yeah. they funny? Um, they were. Do you remember us when we first started? No, oh, how can I forget? <laughs> so, yeah, so much has changed. <laughs> 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 Sorry. They were like a college act. Oh really? Yeah, that's how I describe them. They do well. They would do well in churches. What if we just left it at that? All right, thank you. No, they were they were, they had their thing. They had their stick. They were good. What does that mean though? Tell tell the audience. They what were that just means. more like they were more like uh, family friendly, like pretty squeaky clean. That doesn't sound uh, like a college act. That sounds like a fucking corporate. Thing. Well, now yeah. it's college though. Now, yeah. Are oh. you kidding? Now oh, college yeah, has to be safe. like super that's hardcore. True. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking. I'm not talking like party college. I'm talking like PC college. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking like Burt Kreischer or something. Yeah, okay. you're thinking yeah. Animal no, no, no. House. <laughs> yeah. No, the, the exact opposite of that. But they were cool. We actually talked to them. This for is a an Animal bit. House, but it's full of sloths. I can't even say that word. Thanks, <laughs> 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 bitch. He caught my hand right as I was falling off the building. He fucking caught me and pulled me up. <laughs> he caught that <laughs> grenade and threw it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bit right into it. <laughs> did you see James Bond today? I did. How, did you like that grenade scene? That was kind of great. That's what, that's what I said. <laughs> that's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. What did you, what did you it, About the same. I was like, all know, right. Here's the thing. I, I liked it. I was like, okay. But... I, I didn't let, again. I was telling Mitchell in the car, Skyfall will be it for me with yeah. with Daniel Craig when, when he villain. did that. That was fucking phenomenal, and they couldn't follow it. 
Like yeah. that that's how good that movie was was they just could not follow yeah. Casino Royale and Skyfall. Yeah. Like was those, Casino those first and me. then Skyfall? Yeah. Okay. And Spectre was supposed to be the big tent pole and then Spectre sucked. That was really? supposed to be like the fucking like like uh, uh, Infinity or, or the final was Endgame Avengers one, yeah, yeah. and it was just not nearly as good. It sucked. It sucked. Yeah. It was way it, too long. It was. Just, and here's the thing, though. Like this, is only my thing with uh, No Time to Die. You you can't have that many fucking secrets in in a movie to be revealed because at the end I was like, okay, so then they're all. It's just they're all talking like, okay, so it was actually my father that did this. And it's like, oh, well, yeah. my father had this. And it's just like, oh, and it's just like, Jesus fucking Christ. How many, I, I'm losing interest here because I know realizations are supposed to be happening. That's yeah. up the and I'm times. like, Yeah, who the fuck? My father who, was. Yeah, exactly. I was like, who no. the fuck? Wait a minute. Who was your father? Wait, so your father got killed and then it was they just got their, like, They got their plot, uh, yeah, plot line from uh, Many Saints of Newark. So much, They though. keep tying it to the movie before it and it's like, well, three fucking years gone by. I haven't seen yeah, Spectre. Yeah, exactly. It was like, I couldn't remember all like the... F- I mean, like, it's cool that they do that, but it's also like burdensome on us because you got to like do research before you go see this. Yeah. Because half of the... I'm like, oh, that's who that fucking guy was. He was from Spectre. Like, it was... You had to put it all together yeah, and it's there were tough. a couple times where I'm like, wait, who the fuck are we chasing? Like, yeah. What are we? What what's the? What are we trying to stop here? Yeah, like, I didn't do any like had, flashbacks or anything like that. No, it was just like you better remember this or you're fucked. Pretty much. Wow. Yeah. Which but, I didn't know because I probably would have watched Spectre again. I wasn't even thinking about that. But Spectre wasn't that good. It though. wasn't. I but I still would have watched. And I I didn't want to fucking watch it again because I remember watching it. And the same thing like when I was watching this, I was like, this is easily going to be forgettable for me. Except mm. obviously the end. I'm just gonna be like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I. I I like okay. what they did with that. Like it wasn't awful. It wasn't like bad, bad, bad. Mm-hmm. But it, was it wasn't like Quantum of Solace. But it was. It's somewhere between Quantum of Solace and Spectre. No, I don't know because Quantum of Solace was lame. And Spectre sucked. Yeah. Sorry for all the James Bond talk, everybody. But yeah. I don't know. Go see it if you're if you're even a little you bit of a fan. Friend, you know, it's a decent ending. No. It's, no, it's it's got no, some I fun like, stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's my awesome. second favorite Bond. They oh really? Be. He's I great. love Daniel Craig. He's fucking great. I He's awesome. Great he looks too. like Bond. He looks like a Bond. I didn't like. I liked Sean Connery and I liked Daniel Craig and everything in between was kind of like a. You didn't know. like Pierce Brosnan? I thought he looked pretty. He's all pretty right. Bond like like Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. yeah. I think Bond. His got look bad like real could... fast though. Because Goldeneye <laughs> was fucking rad, and then after that it was like, what the fuck are we doing here? Holy shit! Oh, the Roger Moore was the worst. Roger Moore. Roger Moore. Rat Pack. Rat Pack. Moonraker. Oh yeah, I know Rat Pack. <laughs> I don't watch. I, I don't know. He did good that for was, that guy. He had a nice long fucking run. How many years does that guy make money off that franchise? I know, right? Well, and that's that's the one thing that I liked was there was one little snippet to uh, Judy Dench as M, and like it, in the hallway you see like a portrait of her. Yeah, that was great. Looking all fucking like crumudgeny. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like okay, she died. I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> in the movie she fuck, yeah fuck oh. you <laughs> sorry I didn't remember I legitimately it was a while ago she dies in Skyfall <laughs> spoiler alert I thought she died yeah. in real life <laughs> she I was after this did. show <laughs> <laughs> sorry no but I'm uh, your hair <laughs> one <laughs> look better blonde one thing though I, I it was cool like I, I really do uh, you come out to the show I, I do appreciate it man like You're welcome, man. you didn't have to do that um, no I didn't <laughs> I would have never heard the end of it. It was worth the fucking drive there and back just to not have to hear the is, kill. So trip. is this the new Madhouse or is it the older club? Because the old club had a really weird setup where like half the bar blocked like the tables and you had to like kind of see through like a this narrow is, thing. No, same thing. Pretty is much. it? Yeah. Okay. It's a really so, weird straight setup. But. Yeah, it's it's a different kind of layout. But yeah. No, it was uh, – you couldn't have gotten a more different lineup – it was it was it was cool, but it was strange. It was like okay, and every night I was going up in a different kind of pattern. It was like okay, and then the one thing I'll say that made like, me laugh was the the headliner was like you're you're really dirty, <laughs> and I was like yeah, and he was like yeah you're you're awfully dirty. I thought this was a fucking comedy club. I just looked at him. I was like yeah, I am, <laughs> and we just kind of looked at each other. And I was like. All right, well, have a good night. Yeah. And I was like, we'll see ya. And I, it was just this weird little, like, are, are you asking me to, like, tone it down a little bit? Or I what, feel like that's, what, it, that's like, fuck? he was intimidated. 
No, no, no. I, he was a good comic. He's a great comic. He's got nothing I, I, to worry about. He was funny. I, I thought it was great <laughs> until he told me that. And I was like, are you fucking serious? God but damn it. The only thing that like. Like it, he it, wouldn't know. Like you wouldn't know that you're a dirty comic. Like. Well, and the, this fil- is what the was, filth coming out of your mouth. <laughs> this is what. The life you live. No. The second. <laughs> the second fucking night. Uh, the host came up to me. and He's like, so I'm. He's like, how do you how do you want your credits? Because the first night they were they plugged the podcast, and I was like, oh, Matt Bird. I was like, I I really appreciate that, man. And then the second night, the host was like, I'm gonna go ahead and plug that uh, you open for Joey Diaz, <laughs> just because that might uh, that might kind of prep the audience a little bit more. Hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. And it it was really fucking weird because those. All the shows were great, mm-hmm. like, and I'm I'm happy to say they asked me to come back, and they, you know, all the bookers had said, "Hey, we want to start getting you in the lineup," and so I'm officially in. It's hey, a nice thing. I can, hey, I, 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 I can get booked Excellent. there. So, the it worked. Um, so again, thank gonna be you. a boss someday. Believe this, they're gonna make them. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and then they, yeah, and then they hit me with the fucking chicken fingers. <laughs> but here's the thing that got me that was it's- weird. <laughs> Um. So it like those those early crowds and those late crowds, and for me, I was like, okay, I I always remember this. I always remember Joey telling me, "You hit him with those fucking gay jokes hard. I want you to I want you to hit him hard." <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And it was so fun. Like I can't tell you how much fucking fun it is to feature for guys like Joey and Josh Potter, because there you can't get dirty enough yeah. and it's just like those guys are so creative with with their dirt with their jokes <laughs> wow. but that's that's also why they're fucking hilarious yeah. but in my head i'm sitting there and i'm like okay one of the people on that lineup was giving me shit because i said i hate pride and it's just like oh you mean the comic on stage fucking Told a joke yeah. about pride, the gayest yeah. guy in a three mile fucking square radius. Yeah, fuck right. you! I don't give a shit what you uh-huh. think. We're actually so, gonna talk about the people we met at the bar too. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. And then the <laughs> other aspect of it too is is this headliner telling me like, yeah, you're you're really dirty, and I just I don't know. So here's here's something for you, Murph. Here's a question: Do you do you change up your act, or do you keep it the same? Because here's the thing, though. The other thing is, I don't want to alienate anybody either. Because people go there and have a good time. Well, wait for that. Do all that shit. Christians, <laughs> should you dip your toe in the water? You look like an alien. Who's waste. booking you? Who's there? <laughs> Who's watching? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just, terrible. Sorry. I mean, they you even say you, you? owe us huh? money for Did the they even say hi to you? food tab. Well, I don't know. He probably assumed you're recording. <laughs> oh wow! My yeah. brother, my brothers just walked. Okay. No, they just. You know what? They when I saw rude. Steve Martin, I had the same reaction. So <laughs> I understand. What do you think, Murph? What, I mean, no, I mean, wait, wait. The ballsy things to say. No, you don't change anything up. But who's who's watching you? Isn't there a whole spectrum of reality in between there? Fuck you, and I'd like to really like to play here again. Yeah. What are you? Yeah. Gonna, yeah. That's it's business it versus too. integrity, which somebody in this kitchen doesn't. Really want <laughs> what to are they going to make you drop? Is the question, I guess. The beat S- standards. Yeah. <laughs> Quali- or can you quality drop- of jokes? You drop your standards for a weekend and make money, <laughs> and then go do your shit everywhere else. I don't yeah, know. <laughs> that's more of our <laughs> <laughs> DJ Eric. That's why he does podcasts like this. <laughs> <laughs> with, with one, yeah, one headphone on my ear. Yeah, um, yeah that. But that was kind of like what I was thinking about, and the thing of it that like kept getting, like, I kept thinking about too was something Patrice O'Neill used to talk about, which I'm fucking clear far away from is. You know, not Man. everybody should like your act. I fucking no. <laughs> I saved it. <laughs> not not everybody's gonna love your act. Like I remember no. Mooney. Mooney was walking people, but I mean that was obviously Paul Mooney. So yeah. walking people is a is a good thing. You know, it keeps the ones that love you, or uh, you know, maybe sometimes it's the bookers. Is, is it a good thing? What? No, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a horrific thing. And it crushes your soul for years to come. Well, who's the guy? A perfect example, I think, would be who's the, some fucking guy. I don't even remember his name. Uh, what? What? Uh, that 
that fucking bitch went after Joey Diaz about the blowjob shit oh, at yeah, the store. Yeah. And some guy was on your thread on Instagram. And I looked up his credits. He's like on comedy. So he's like, he stripped fucking douchebag comedy shows. <laughs> he was like, you see, yeah, okay, I saw a guy like you 30 years ago, 40 years ago on a strip show. That's where you're going to end up. It's like... <laughs> He's a, great, good for you. It may be further yeah. than I ever fucking get, but let's be fucking honest. Yeah. So, do you want to make a mark, or do you want to be that guy? You want to be? Was he a Was he a white knight? Was he trying to? Yeah. Oh, well, that's you know, that, that's the fast that? track to attention now is to be that guy. Yeah, for about for say. about two minutes, and then yeah. nobody gives a shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that fucking Jap that went after fucking Tony uh, Hinchcliffe Jesus down there and fucking Easy. Huh? Fuck. What's up? Hey, what's <laughs> was he Japanese? <laughs> Why is Jap offensive? It's short for Japanese. I don't understand why. I never understood why that was an offensive term. I think it just yeah, because I mean, it's d- been around for a while and it just. I think they they just they have a, they have a certain like shelf life and after a certain time they're like, well, oh, that's racist now. Well, Jewish people you can call Jews. Yeah, exactly. Fine. So what the fuck's the problem? It depends on the. Jewish I never understood person. why Jap was offensive. For the industry listening, I don't support loose <laughs> opinions. But yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, because the Japs run fucking show business. The <laughs> Japanese, right? Let me tell you, they're the ones you got to worry about. Who was Sarah Silverman was complaining did you see Squid about? Game? <laughs> no, I'm face singer. What'd she call it? Did oh, she did. God, she want yeah. Jewish people to play Jewish people. Like <laughs> Jewish people are having trouble get representation. <laughs> fucking show business. Really, Sarah Silverman? Oh, I know. What a fucking ding dong. She's the know, worst. It's, it's I met her at a party once. She was a fucking cunt. Really? Ooh. With a T, a big fucking T on the end, Sarah. <laughs> I met her on the set of MI3 once. She was walking around looking for JJ, and I said, are you looking for JJ Abrams? She said, yep. I took her over there, and then <laughs> no, she hugged I, me. That's back when I still like, liked her. This is 2005. No, she was from New Hampshire. I'm from Maine. I was like, hey, just be friendly. We're at a friend's house at a party, a mutual friend. It's like it's not like I met her on the fucking street. I'm like, asshole. oh, hey, New Hampshire, that's cool. I'm from Maine. All right. It's just chatter, getting the ice. She's like, uh-huh. pfft. Ew. Fuck wow, you, you really? cunt. Yes, we're at Damn. a mutual friend's house, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to ask you about somebody, though, Murph. You, you've got ties with somebody behind me right now on the wall. Hopefully they're not Jewish. <laughs> yeah, I knew him 30 years ago for a couple of years. I think it's about John Lane. <laughs> yeah. He was a good guy. So, yeah, you, you were friends with Patrice O'Neill. Would it be fair for to say? For a little that? bit. What was he like? He was a good guy. He was, uh, if, as long as you were honest and you didn't fuck around, he liked you. Because I didn't realize how much he disliked white people until after he died. <laughs> so he, he never gave it to me. I gave it, uh, there was one bit where I, no, it wasn't even a bit we were talking. And I, I said, let me tell you what it's like coming up as a white man in America. And he fucking stiffened up. And he looks at me and goes, yeah, why don't you fucking tell me? <laughs> <laughs> And I said, well, I did my best. They said, well, I'm a, I'm a redneck from Maine. People look at you. They, they assume shit. People look at me. They wonder what the fuck went wrong. I'm a white guy. I was born with three f- white male Americans. born with three fucking aces up my sleeve. So what went wrong, Patrice? What the fuck is going wrong? If this is such a fucking ace, what is going wrong? And he, that's where he left it. <laughs> So I don't know. It's like I didn't. He was a good fucking guy. He was a worked his ass off. He didn't. I told you. I don't know. So we were all booked on a show in Portland, Maine, and the guy who booked it was he's was, he was been in a car accident Jeez. and he was really slow. He kind of thing where he had to wear a helmet. The Spence Griffith. <laughs> Spence is funny. This guy was okay. poor fucker. <laughs> not, not on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Spence. Spence. I just texted him. Oh, I, was like, I haven't seen you in weeks, you little bastard. I missed that fucker. Yeah. Go, go I wonder why. No, you, no, the guy made, made him go into hiding. <laughs> he had a problem. Nobody showed up. He didn't promote it. Nobody showed up. And we were all promised money. And everybody, we drove up from Boston. It was about two hours. Fuck. And Patrice was bullshit. And fuck this shit. Fuck that. Pay me. Pay me. And everybody's going like, Patrice, dude, he's fucking retarded. He's like, you got to give him a break. Come on, man. He's like, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. And then he turned to the guy and he goes, he goes, no, you pay me, motherfucker. And then somebody goes, Patrice, no. I see. He goes, nah, he want to live in the real world. He need to pay me. And he just kept slapping his fucking hand. <laughs> and he got paid. Patrice got paid. None of us, not the rest of us didn't get paid, but fucking Patrice got paid that night. How much you pay him? hundred bucks? I don't even know, man. Wow. Fucking, that's, fucking but fucking that's the difference. It's probably why Patrice is on your wall and I'm fucking, I, I have a <laughs> sick kid in Parker Brea. <laughs> well, I I don't know. It's it's not worth being a martyr anymore. It feels like there's too many. 
Yeah. Well, as soon as you become one now, they're ready to fucking run you out for anything. But that was. That I was said Jap on a podcast. I mean, in my <laughs> career. <laughs> we bring us great dishonor. <laughs> Sorry. I like the Japanese. They're not giving us the promise. The Chinese did it as a problem. Jesus. That's why I'm not going to use any. Well, that's what Tony was talking about, I think. <laughs> he went back to them. That's what he said. Oh, is he talking about Chinese people? Yes. Oh, I thought the kid was Japanese. Okay. Yeah. I can't remember. But he helped the Chinese. Uh, he helped them out. Yeah, I know. He did and a show yeah. a bunch of times. And kid, yeah. And then that, that kid was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to take the fast train to success and be a fucking social justice warrior and try to run this was guy he on, on. Was like, the guy on, uh, what the fuck's his show? Kill Tony or yeah. something? So Tony yeah. booked him on shows and everything. Oh, yeah. 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 He yeah. was doing one of Red Band's secret shows that Tony <gasps> got him on. And, like, Tony had. Um, they stabbed giving him the spots. Butt? I mean, why do you do that? I, I, I don't that's know. why you, you this don't makes hear about it to your ears, you fucking douchebag. Well, you burned a bridge. You well, that's why head. you don't hear about this guy anymore. Yeah. Tony, I think, gained like a hundred thousand followers from it. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he got huge. like a lot of. Uh, that actually worked out very beneficial for me. <laughs> <laughs> I should I should use racial epithets more in my act. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! They had a monster kill Tony this week. They, it was Joe Rogan, Burke Kreischer, and uh, Dom Herrera were the Ooh, judges. Oh boy. Just Jeez. murderers, bro. So what's the upside of doing that show? I mean, you get ripped to pieces. Uh, well, if you do good, then they book you, and, and you can do they a book you? Yeah, yeah. Put, as yeah, an, uh, as an alumni of the show, yeah, uh, yeah Tony's actually uh, pretty. I'll be back. <laughs> 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 Tony, it, like, if you actually do well, Red Band will put you on shows, I didn't know and that. like, you know, they'll you can get uh, you know. So you, there are stakes. I thought it was just kind of like a roasting. But no, no, no. He'll, he, like, if you do well, they'll like, they might roast you a little bit depending on who the judge is because that's just the nature of the sure. show. But like, if you actually do solid, you, know, you might get drawn more. You oh, might great. get guest spots. So. All right. Speaking yeah, of people right. that got rusted, ro- roasted by the judges, I just saw Greg Simmons at the gym. Who I was on Kill Tony with, and he really roasted me. <laughs> yeah, he Very was pretty badly. brutal. You know what's funny? He was fucking brutal. To I, me, I actually, really? I found that episode. Did you find it? Oh, oh, yeah. I can't listen to it. It is fucking horrendous, dude. I, I, I was like, I was. That was one mad. of the worst moments in my life. That I wanted to fucking die. I was. This is like the worst thing that's ever fucking happened to me. I was so unprepared. I was only doing stand up for like six months. I was. I should not have done it. Did and it, then didn't uh, didn't he actually recognize you? Oh, when no. you were doing like a year show? later, he, he remembered. Yeah, he remembered when I was doing <laughs> Cor- the first time I went to American Comedy Co. When I was with Corolla, oh, God. and we were setting up, and we and and me Fitzsimmons and, and Dawson got there like a fucking hour early. And no one was in there. We were just sitting. We were just sitting around together. There's like nothing to do. We we're just like, well, no one's here yet. Mm-hmm. And we're sitting around. And he's like, you look really familiar, man. We met somewhere before. And I was like, yes, we have. <laughs> Yes, oh, we no. have. You, you, you have a big piece of my soul uh, on your fucking <laughs> shoe. <laughs> on your fork. Yeah. Yeah, he fucked me up. And then he walked by. I just saw him like three times at the gym. And I'm like, and I, like, I know we don't because I've talked to him there like fucking five times. Like I see him at Gold's all the time. And he goes walking by and he like looks. I was doing leg press and he looked right at me. And he was like, oh. and he just like kept going. And I'm like, what is my, what is my problem? Why are, why are people so like afraid? Just like won't talk. I don't know. I just, I just give off an aura of like. Stay the fuck away from me, which is weird. I so, don't. You do. You really do. I do. I've had that my whole life. It's terrible. It's really going to help me in show business with the, <laughs> with, uh, with the Japs. But uh, oh, Jesus, <laughs> I'm doing. The, I was doing the fucking. Uh, it's the Italian. Eh? You look like you know. You might fuck somebody up. You doing leg press yeah, too? That's you, not you, what you it move is. some wagon no, wheels, man. You, you look like. You look like you're bored or you're annoyed. Yeah. True, and I'm usually I usually am both. Yeah. And horny, which is the, that drives the women away too. <laughs> They're like, yeah, he just wants to lick my asshole, and they just leave. <laughs> It's got to be one or two and stick around. For yeah. <laughs> but I was doing, I was doing like, uh, I was doing that, like, um, uh, that squat machine where it's like, uh, it's like a machine. The and then he was ahead of me. He, I've seen him in there a couple times. He's like going for it, dude. He's doing like shoulder presses. Like mm-hmm. his head's all b- his fucking big shaved. I'm like, this is like that little motherfucker from Oz that goes in there and like, <laughs> it's like the banker and then you end up taking the jail over and shit. I'm like, fucking Fitzsimmons just trying to fucking get ripped. So I was doing this like leg press, and he was right ahead of me on the on this like shoulder raise machine. So every time I dip and come up, it's like there's Greg and there's Greg. I was like look up, <laughs> but we were like straight ahead from each other and shit. And I was like, so he goes walking by, and I was like, I was like Fitz dog, Fitz dog, Fitz dog. And I look, and he's got these little tiny earbuds in his ears, and he just like he couldn't even fucking hear me. I was like, I didn't even know he had earbuds in. No, he heard you. He so I was like, yeah, right. those have been dead yeah. for an hour. Probably, uh-huh. Yeah, but he looked right at me like three times. I'm like, <laughs> I did this show. He fucking knows who I am for Christ's sakes. I yeah. know he knows me. One time there, he came up and talked to me. So, oh, okay, yeah. Well, maybe he I mean, that was, well, it was two years ago, but still. Maybe he didn't want to get bothered. 
I guess and I don't want to bother me either, but it's just like, I don't know. I'm a fucking fan of the guy. I, just, I want to know who's going to be on his fucking show next because his last bunch of guests I was not fans of. I was like, who you got coming <laughs> up, fucking Greg? Motherfucker. Fun fact, uh, the first time we got on Kill Tony, Luke's name was pulled right before, and I think you were with abroad on a date. I was date. with a chick on a horrendous. It was on Christmas or like the day after yeah, was, the day before, the day after oh, Christmas. It was something like that. That was that bit. She was a balls. fucking asshole. That to girl, make that a date. And Luke awful. didn't and didn't ah, Luke didn't go on. No shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, you want to watch me do comedy? <laughs> <laughs> want to watch a public no. tar and feathering? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I left and they pull it. They, like, Luke Allen? I don't think he's here. Let's, oh, look who it is. Diversity triplets. And everyone went nuts. And I was like, but then I was happy. I was like, oh, I'm glad nuts. it happened. Yeah, they booed. <laughs> yeah. Well, nuts like, you know, like uh, you got a big reaction, let's say. You got a pop, yeah. as they call it. A That's pop. What yeah, the Japs yeah, in the, the business business. call it a pop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, but but Kill Tony, like, Tony let us, like, he's let us do guest spots for him at, like, some of the clubs. And that's got us in at some of the clubs. Yeah. And we I had no idea he did that kind of stuff. That's great. Yeah, yeah, he gave us a spot when we got on Floor's Lava. So he, like, will... Show you props if you, I guess, earn your That's keep. That's great. Yeah. So, gotta be handy with the steel. I mean, can and geek off the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Regulators. I'm shocked you got that. Holy shit, Mitchell got a fucking old reference. Look at um, that. Warranty. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows regulators. It was a clear black. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll stop. You hate that. I, uh, I just don't know how to react to it. I feel like Luke when I you hear it. I'm just like, hold my hand. Okay, that's it's National <laughs> Coming Out Day. I want to tell all my gay brothers and sisters. It's Columbus uh, Day. Which, Fred, by the way, that you better love. not be Columbus. <laughs> 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 or indigenous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my God, Fred! You don't even try it. to say Pocahontas, please. No. <laughs> 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 but get the get the get the Gallagher tarp up, everybody. <laughs> a little windshield wiper on my glasses. Uh, oh, the DHs are <laughs> fucking watermelons tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Go oh. ahead. I was going to say, Fred, you would absolutely hate the person me and Rocha met. We met. Rocha and I went to a bar after. I forgot what we were doing. Oh, I think you just shit, finished. I forgot yeah, about this. You forgot about this, dude? So Rocha and I were just talking and like, good. We were talking about comedy and like the podcast and everything and like. You know, it was a pretty private conversation, and this guy is sitting there with his chick, I guess, but he looks he looks gay. Like, he looks like, I'm like, oh, it's a gay guy. He's a fake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gay guy and, and her friend, like his friend. Like, yeah. So he just chimes in. He's like, excuse me, I couldn't help but notice you guys are talking about comedy. He's like, what uh, what, uh, what podcast? And, just like, <laughs> and we're like, yeah, you know, we do. Something of an expert myself. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, the podcast he knew was Come Town, which is uh, which is he was uh, the mayor of. Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, he wearing a sash? <laughs> uh, He's but, probably listening. Sorry, sir. Is this is where this is going? The guy's going. But take the no, this guy up? could not have been more of a like white knight. Like he might actually listen to this podcast too. Uh, he said he was going to listen uh, to it. Which, hello, Sven, he was very sir. nice. I'm not going to lie, he was very nice. But it was just like it was just very. Uh, it's a very strange interaction with because he was very drunk and he was like telling us shit like he's like we're like are you are you gay he's like well i'm bisexual but i've been with her the girl for like three years and i'm like so you're bisexual and you're with this chick and what's uh, her face like while well, he's just talking she's actually about pretty cute but i mean she's i fuck her and, she, then well, I fuck and that was the thing people. the thing was like she was looking, like she was just like letting it roll and I'm like, all right, but she looked like she was laughing at some of the dirtier jokes that Rocha and I were telling. How'd she look? Was she cute? Yeah, she's cute. She huh? cute little blonde. She's very pretty. Yeah, and <laughs> like some of the like raunchier jokes that Rocha, because Roach and I were just like this guy was trying to. Once he heard Eric was gay, he was like totally trying to align with him and be like, you know, when I'm very like LGBTQ pro, like whatever, and just tried to white knight it. And Roach was like, this guy, I think he he literally said, yeah, I'm a Marxist. He said that that those words came. Oh, out of the his pool, mouth. the pool hall guy. No, we met him at... Oh, is there somebody else? Why that How many Marxists do you guys fucking meet, for Christ's sake? It was a different Marxist. Where, where were we in? It Ber- was a, Berkeley? It, it was uh, the same. Uh, yeah, he went to Berkeley. Yeah. He said he went to Berkeley. Yeah. Oh, shocker. Oh, so, shocker. Yeah. You are and, Berkeley. And Roach is like... And, and he went to Roach. He's like, oh, well, you know, you, you must be... You know, you must be into Marxism, too, because he was gay. Whoa. 
And yeah. Rocha's like, no, I would consider myself a gay capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And this guy's like, oh, I'm going to put that in my bio. What? I'm just like, I could never, I could not get a read on this guy. <laughs> this this guy said, he goes, no, I'm I'm a Marxist. I swear the fucking, the vinyl went, <laughs> Yeah. And everybody in the bar, like, fucking looked at this guy. The people sitting near us, the, one of the guys looked at his buddy, and I heard him go, uh, do you want to switch seats? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but the he funny like, part is, these people that want to be Marxists, if Marxism actually came to pass, what do they think is going to happen to them? Unless you're one of the fucking elites at the top, you are, you are, you just fucked all of us. You should so hang out with my daughter and her friends. Down in the shit. All those fucking questions. We're all going to be in a fucking year old brains. Uh, you will get the answers to all. We're all going to be in a gulag questions. together. Like, what do you think is going to happen? How yeah. do you think well, you're going to? Well, you know what helped benefit? is that he said that he had white guilt. Oh, really? Was, yes, he said he had oh, white yeah, guilt. I asked him. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I think I do. And I'm like, my immediate joke was like, you know where I don't have white guilt is playing pickup basketball with a bunch of black guys. <laughs> uh, I think I picked last every fucking time. <laughs> and, he, and like the girl was a separate guy from the pool hall guy. No, separate. it was okay. We went to the pool hall to shoot pool, but then we went to go have a beer, and that was where we met the guy. Yeah, this guy was different. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> he might have been it was the same fucker. night. Hey. It was the same night. That's what I'm saying. Two different guys in the same no, fucking No, it wasn't. Night? It wasn't. It was just one guy. We didn't meet anybody at the pool hall that, that was like no. that. Oh, I thought Rocha you guys was were pretty playing. upset. He took a he took a beating in pool. What's the so. Marxist dressed like? What is he wearing? Uh, a Hawaiian shirt, ironically uh, enough. Yeah. A Hawaiian, an open Hawaiian well, shirt. I just asked who I go. I go. Why? Why are you guilty? I go. What are you guilty of? What have you done? And he's like, Well, like my education, for instance, is one of them. And I was like, You think I wanted to go to Berkeley? And I go, isn't that kind of narcissistic, though, that you thought I wanted to go to Berkeley? <laughs> and he was like, no, I, it, it, you can go to whatever school you want to. And I go, right. yeah, I know. He, and he's he, like, no, that, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, though, is, is that I, I had the opportunity to do it. And like, you pro- like where, where, where did you go to school? And I go, I went to a performing arts school. And he's like, well, yeah, but. He was tripping over his tongue more oh, than I do. fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. I was like, Mitchell, yeah, <laughs> help this guy find his tongue. No, but, it's, <laughs> but like every every point that this every time this guy tried to like ally with Rocha because Rocha was gay, Rocha would just be like, yeah. "No, they're like, like taking sort of a like, fish out of, out of a out of a fucking tank of water. Like they they cannot exist with outside of their echo chamber. Like they can't handle fucking people that have like actual facts and fucking data. Or just a different they viewpoint. crumble like a fucking house of cards, dude. I was you would have been so proud of me, like. I was like the fucking Raja Gould. <laughs> no, Jordan Bowers was my Raja Gould. Like, yeah, nice. <laughs> every once in a while, the fags send one back. <laughs> Some guys don't want reason. <laughs> Some guys don't want free things. <laughs> Have you spent Some any time <laughs> at the West Hollywood Dog Park? <laughs> we get a lot of that there. I oh, go there every yeah. day. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't talk politics. They're nice course, folks. No. They're really nice until <laughs> yes, they find Murph, out what your politics Murph, are. Murph goes there to jerk off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do oh, it with yeah. a rainbow, one <laughs> rainbow glove. <laughs> Nobody can see because my dick's so small. But that's, why, that's how I get away with it. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> no, yeah. It, it, was, it, was it, just, was, it was hilarious to just watch. It was just like you don't... You don't think these people like actually like they, he was like the very ster- he was like a soy boy was, you know you don't yeah. actually think they exist yeah. and then like it was just funny because like he had a chick they him and that chick have been together for three years I, I followed that chick on Instagram afterwards because I slid in her DMs and uh, <laughs> nice because <laughs> I, well, she, she, she was, I, I also thought that she was and, and Rocha can back me up on this I feel like she was giving off the vibe yeah that she wanted me if to anyone is in that situation alpha male, of course right. and, and, and that is that is exactly, yeah, exactly the fucking vibe Mitchell yeah. said that to her he goes so he goes uh, like I mean do I you feel they were open some, yeah and uh, he's like well yeah and like he looked at me and he goes but I, I usually like more uh, effeminate guys <laughs> and I go so. Like you, you pick a type, and he's like, "Well, like I, I like more effeminate guys. Like just, just like more feminine than I, I like if they're effeminate." And I was Which, like, "Yeah, I know what it means, you <laughs> fucking idiot." Like, listen, Berkeley, and I go, "So would it be fair?" You tell to me say, the same tasting guys. Yeah, would it be would it be fair <laughs> to say that you fetishize feminine guys? And I go because gays really hate that too. Yeah. <laughs> and dude, he like fucking looked at me like I did a magic trick. <laughs> he was like, "Well, no, like I'm I'm open to all kinds of like you can ask my you wife." He made his narrative disappear. Oh, dude, he that didn't know what trick. the fuck uh-huh. to say, and I was like, "Oh yeah," I was like, "No, like I, 
And then I was like, would, would you ever be with a black guy? Of course, uh, dude. If there was a black guy, I was hoping. I was like, I oh, could have gotten not. the black guy's dick sucked that minute. Oh, Just, easy. Uh, well, f- well, suck this yeah, guy's dick. Like, hey, I know you had a hard day at work, but <laughs> he <laughs> honestly would have done anything to appease you. Oh yeah, like, he, well, you I'm had a big like, guy. Like you wouldn't fuck me, and he's like, no, like I, I'm sure, like like. He, like I'm, I'm open to so much, and oh. it's just like oh every God. fucking thing what a he would burden say. Of a life. I, I bet that guy's cool. a boring fuck. I know that's well, what I was saying too. Like I told Mitchell that I was like, I bet you oh, that guy's got asks, a giant dick that it probably doesn't get all the way hard. He asks because there's everything. so much guilt. Yeah, can I touch you? Seven- here? <laughs> Is this okay? Does that feel good? <laughs> Just fucking, you, you felt know, like, she, she's got t- at least two fingers in his ass too. Well, and that's the one thing Which, is like, there's nothing wrong with that. No, but what I'm saying is, is at least fucking own up to it. Like, yeah. don't well, be yes. guilty if you like those fingers in your ass. And fucking, <laughs> hey, I don't care if they're. Oh, wait, are you talking to me now or the guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's making a lot of eye contact with me. But as a chick, that must be kind of weird to be like, yeah, I like a feminine man, and she's like, well, my like as that chick, I would be like. Kind of, I would feel insecure. Like, am I like not enough woman for like? I I guess it might be different. Yeah, that's why she wanted to fuck you because mm. she knew you could handle her. Well, she didn't respond to my DM. Right. So, no. yeah. isn't it? Yet. <laughs> well, I, I right, think, right. She hasn't I, had the right fight yet. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, I told I told somebody like it was funny because I went on a a date uh, maybe a week ago, and I told the guy I was like I've, I've so you know I've got I've got a gun, and he's <laughs> like, do you really? And I was like. Well, I've got I've got two guns, and he was like, "Okay, um, like on you?" No, no, because no. oh. like, he was gonna come over, and I was like, "All right, I I have multiple like guns. I, I have two handguns, but I also have two shotguns too." And he's like, <laughs> "Jesus Christ!" And I was like, "Yeah, there's another one that nobody knows about too." But the- <laughs> I and he's like, "Why why are you preparing for World War Three?" Because it's and coming. And I told him I Because it's coming. Because yeah. uh, I go, I, I, I remember when I had to stand guard and I had absolutely nothing. Yeah. You and stood guard. Those fucking 90 supply ships floating around in the LA Harbor that can't offload. Yeah. Guess who's going to fucking eat, motherfucker? Exactly. Yeah. Just like, sorry. So I and, can't buy one of those. And, <laughs> yeah, no shit. And, and I told taco. him, though, I said, I go, so here's the thing. I go, um, I'm not saying that I carry or I don't carry, but. I can tell you this: If we go on a date and I don't feel comfortable, I'm probably going to have something with me that makes me feel more comfortable. And I, <laughs> and I looked at him and I go, a and condom? so you know, I go, I'm not looking for anything. And I go, I'm not looking for trouble. I go, the whole point of it is it's it's quite literally self defense. Yeah, yeah, of course. Did they get yeah. his butthole all sopping and wet? Dude, I yeah, the responsible that night. Gun no, he was he was fine. And he goes and and he's like, well, so like, if somebody were to rob a bank, then and I go, oh, I I'd, I'd fucking hey, let why them are you do bringing it. me into it. <laughs> <laughs> Did he make you put the gun on his head like Janice Soprano on your fucker? <laughs> I might do that. <laughs> that sounds like whatever, fun. whatever, whatever works, man. <laughs> but no, and and he's he's like so like if there was like a, a bank robber, I was like no, I, I'd sit the fuck down and and wait for it to be over. And he was like, oh, so and I go, no, you wouldn't fucking. Why would you do that? Yeah. And I told him, I go, that's that's the misconception that you guys have about having a gun. Is it's it's quite literally if somebody robs a bank, I'm not gonna fucking be in a goddamn standoff. I was yeah. like, if if he starts popping off people, you know, <laughs> yeah. in a row. And there's those guys then, too though that'll that'll just fucking pull and start shooting if they're carrying but I exactly. mean we, we all sell fucking hell or high water. You exactly. got a lot of those Texas types. <laughs> <laughs> but that that's what I mean though, and I said I go, look, the whole point of, of having a gun is it's it's a last it's a last resort. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, but I'm not gonna be a I'm not gonna be a fucking uh hate crime victim. No. Yeah. I was like, you're you're not gonna have any marches for me or any shit like that. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have a relief fund for the Eric Roacher lawyer that <laughs> <laughs> really Eric Roach has shot three God hates facts people yeah, that were God trying damn. to stab him. <laughs> Pro yeah. bono, yeah, dude. So it's just like you'll be the one that gets in trouble. That's how it works now. Yeah, and fucking ridiculous. It'll be Antifa. It'll be guys who say they support gay people. That's what, no, I, that's, like the Marxist. <laughs> that's what I do on. That's what I do on the stage. I, was, I go, guys. I go. I can. I can act gay when I need to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? I can gay it, I can gay it up. Really well. <laughs> Which I could have done that. I had to. 
I had to walk through Cabrini Green on the way from between in Chicago. The like Cabrini Green was a project. Yeah. I had a day job at the CTA, the bus service, where I stole a bunch of Buses? fare cards. Oh. <laughs> I saw a lot of fare cards, a lot of improvisers, got a lot of free bus rides. It's not even fair. Frank no. Murphy. <laughs> I had to walk through Cabrini Green to get to Second Dude, City. Cabrini a Green, that's fucking. I got told to you, get your white motherfucking ass out of here. I was gonna say that's yeah. the, the, well, that's, that's the yeah, yeah, you have it's it's uh, from Candyman. Candyman. That was that was oh, his, yeah? that was his neighborhood. Oh, that I, was, yeah, that was that was I saw that when I was like fucking thirteen. I, was I, was like, I heard the name. I didn't realize it was a uh, project. I kind of thought it was a. That's that's what I liked course. about that. <laughs> it is <laughs> now. <laughs> <I> thought, yeah, <laughs> it is now. Oh, they fucking get yeah. out of here! If you're not gonna cut grass, yeah. you fucking move. <laughs> that's what those people. Oh think. God! But yeah, it was it was incredible to see how how the narrative just dissipated. Oh, that's great. That's that's guy, that guy was squirming in his panties. Yeah, dude. Poor fuck. Oh, God. Jordan ruined me. It's so bad. You and Jordan. Yeah, dude. That was a, that's our greatest fucking pride. That, that, that's our Avengers Endgame. We just built up movie <laughs> after movie. <laughs> uh, was not Eric. He was just confused, wandering out there in the liberal fucking wasteland. And we're like, come with us, pal. We'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> he, would, he would send me pictures of the Emperor from Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I'd, I'd tell, like, but like, it, it's just, it's, it's so funny, though, because it's... But they've gotten, was, they've gotten so nuts, though. We just saw it earlier, him, him, yeah. him and I. So it's like it's undeniable how it's fucking insane and how well, far left the left has gone. It's like they're not even reasonable people anymore. It's And it's and the thing of it, too, is, is it's like you guys said, because I remember I had to make that distinction is it's just like I don't trust Democrats or Republicans. Like I don't, I don't think that the government should have as much control over anything as it does. Yeah. And I think people misconstrue that as, oh, well, you don't like liberals then. And it's just like, I don't like anybody trying to... Like, I, again, I, I have all the abortions you want. I think that that's fine. I don't <laughs> that's a hearts shit. and minds issue. Yeah, you can't exactly. legislate that shit. I get mad at Mrs. Verzi for not having an abortion. <laughs> yeah. I wish yeah. she still would with a fucking frying pan. Well, she got divorced, so she's not really a holy woman issue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, mom. Mama Bird. <laughs> sure. no, she, she comes with a rolling pin. Why are you talking? I'm going to whack. Oh, yes. <laughs> she fuck. We I, could trade notes. There are a lot of mom jokes to go around. The, the, the guilt after, though, is fucking searing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, the uh, many states in Newark. How great was it that they hit every fucking Estelle, uh, Italian stereotype in this movie, for, like Jersey? There's a scene where. Young Tony, teenage Tony gets mad at his uncle that gave him the fucking speakers. So what, there's a the classic scene. The father comes home. He's walking down the sidewalk to his house, and you hear something breaking in the yard. He's like, "Hey, oh, what are you doing?" <laughs> he's like, "Fuck Uncle Johnny!" And he's throwing his speakers oh, yeah. out the fucking window. Italians always throw shit out the second story window. <laughs> you get caught cheating. I thought that was Puerto Rican. You come home. No, it's not, well, maybe no, them too. The same you come home from work. Do that you shit see too. all your clothes all over the front lawn. That means your wife caught you cheating. I, I'm a piece of shit. I'm a no. no, no, no. Not my fucking watch. Oh, Maria. You hear break on the sidewalk. Oh, every Spike Lee movie, all of them. Fucking, there we go. Throw out the window with the fucking merchandise, the Italians. Goddamn fucking. Yo, I actually saw somebody do that in New York. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course he did. Of course he did. <laughs> Teresa! She's just a friend of Ow! She, she, she hits him with the fucking ashtray. Marie, or I love you, you fucking bitch! <laughs> yeah. We Marie, get that. Come on, let's be friends. Yeah. It's always oh, something like, no, no, not my, not my prize swordfish. Oh, no, Marie! <laughs> she throws it out the... It's always that one thing he doesn't want to throw out the window, and she does. Yeah, she disappears, of- and she goes in. It's like, oh, no, what's she getting next? And now she comes out with his, throws his fucking Bentley out the window. It's like, Jesus Christ, he's fucking... <laughs> Yeah, goddamn fucking wops. wops See, uh, the only all. time that the uh, Tony showed Jesus aggression in the movie. <laughs> I dug my I'd like to apologize to the Japanese Americans. Uh, they love it. Come they on. don't listen. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't think they. Uh, <laughs> you know, one one weird thing did happen. I've got to. I've got to talk about it. Oh. So, uh, who says that this shit falls on deaf ears? Uh, my comedy. I was gonna say <laughs> my. Uh, they're, they're the lucky ones, the deaf people. Well, first, <laughs> first let me say hello to. Give me uh, a nice pick. My, my buddy, <laughs> my buddy like Kalen, you. my buddy Kalen listens to this show, oh, and it's hi, so Kalen. funny because he was like, he's like, yeah, I, I like it. He goes, it's funny. And he goes, mm-hmm. it's so sad though because he told me he's like, yeah, my my family's like 
his dad told him, he was like, your mother finds your sense of humor offensive. Oh, <laughs> no. And so just to know that we were his cup of tea really Kaylin, you belong. Really okay. made me happy. Yeah, you're not alone out One there, of buddy. the filth. You got balls, we all, we all like the dick jokes and the pussy jokes. And mm. Farts are mine yeah. and oh, Japanese people God. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing, my fucking... I don't know if I told you guys this. Mm. We need some violin music. Oh boy. Um... I, I've got two half brothers, and oh, talk about one of them fucking wrote me, and uh, it was it's very strange. Like I, I now I'm kind of I'm kind of past it, but I he listens to the show now, and I'm like, huh? Hey, I go so uh, look at us bringing families together. Jesus, <laughs> what do you what do you think? I, what, what do you think, Dad? Uh, what do you think, Dad? Doesn't talk to me, and he goes. <laughs> I don't know, but he sure fucking doesn't like it when we bring you up. And I go, okay, like, I thought I might get some kind of closure. <laughs> and he was like, oh, no, he's never oh, mentioned you. It's a wider highway. You just drove out onto a bigger highway. More lanes oh. there. That sucks. Sorry he to hear that, like, man. He goes, he goes, no, nah, yeah. we actually used to tease him. When we wanted to piss him off, we would bring you up. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, my God. God bless. What You're like fuck? his fucking Rose Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Just put her back under the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> my, my God, he's huge. <laughs> yeah. We're going to need a bigger stairway. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reference if you get it. Uh, That's a niche one, but uh, <laughs> we got lost in our Kennedy tragedies. There's only eight thousand of them. We went, Fucking family. I went to <laughs> when my kid was little in. In a fucking what? What's it called? Nursery school. We went to a party out in Malibu. Somebody rented a house, and they had a painting on the wall done by Ted Kennedy, and it was oh. of a breakwater. It was really? water. It was a painting with water by Ted Kennedy. Fuck. Shit. Yeah. Didn't he like leave somebody in a lake? He drove Mary Jo <laughs> Kopechny yeah. straight into a fucking marsh. Yikes. I think it was a marsh. It was something coastal. Maybe, maybe it was a commemorative piece. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell he you, left. dump a body yeah. in the marsh. You she dump was, it in the marsh. <laughs> right. She was a uh, breathing when I left. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Big of OJ painted a picture of a knife. <laughs> right. What the fuck. Exactly. Uh, don't be nothing. <laughs> I photoshopped the Lincoln into it. That's yeah, there you I go. <laughs> it's a paint my numbers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah, never much. done anything by himself. <laughs> that is a hell of a story. So they man. bought an RP yeah, from Tech Our friends might like stuff yeah. like that. It's one of those things. I don't know why he'd put it That's up. That's bizarre. It's well, there's a lot of Democrats in this town. Anything. My, my my wife has a fucking book signed by Bill Clinton. Oh, wow. If you tried to rip that out of our house, she'd let me die before she let that fucking <laughs> book leave the fucking apartment. I what? love Bill Clinton. She loves Bill Clinton. It's, got, it's got the signature, but it's got his number. Like, yeah, hey, pretty what much. the fuck? Like, nice tits. <laughs> P.S. Call me, for, call me for a good time. Right. <laughs> I can see your nipples. Uh, don't worry about all the pages that are stuck together. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> don't, don't, Just tell kidding. Her, don't tell my bitch wife I talk to you. Uh, okay? Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, they love I him, wanna hate Hill. I want to hate Bill Clinton, but like... Oh, Bill's yeah. a baller. I it was I'm not before I was. I had any sense of like, like he was president for like the best years of my life. It was just like ninety two to fucking two thousand. Like, what the fuck did you have to worry about in the nineties? It was such a great. It was the carefree. first years of my life. It was yeah, a pretty like good just, time. But like, I, I mean, I know he, like he was a scumbag, but like, it's hard for me to have a personal connection of his <laughs> yeah. badness guys, because I don't worry about my diaper getting changed. At that time, I say, guys, we're jerking off to your toothpaste commercial. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> 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 That's a hundred percent true. Oh yeah. Cold did, did I tell you about the Russian pedophile that re- slid in our DMs? No. What, what, is, had, what is it with you in that phrase "slid in the DM"? I know. I, we had. I some, saw your commercial. Yeah, very I swear nice. to God, he uh, he typed that in. He's like, I saw a commercial when you guys were kids, and we, like, if anybody's seen the commercial, we were like shirtless out of tell, sink, brushing our teeth, whatever. Tell the lazy one he's not as good as he used to be. <laughs> I uh, bet his underwear are like uh, triple X now. Uh, <laughs> find me any deleted scenes where he dropped the cap from the, from the toothpaste, dude. <laughs> I, dude, I, I swear. Does he have any leftover toilet paper? I, t- I told Vladimir last night, those are the whitest teeth I'd ever come across. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, he asked if they, we were wearing towels. And he asked if there was anything underneath the towels. I swear to God. 
Wow. Yeah. Fuck that, and then we just redirected them to our merch page. To yeah. See if buy <laughs> <laughs> Where we sell towels, like, thanks, by the way. <laughs> you can throw one together. There's yeah, got to be a I fucking mean, Etsy. Just, you can make some money off this fucking my four-year-old dick. Yeah. Well, yeah, dry yourself off with yeah. one and send it to the motherfucker. You, you, uh, you want our bath water? Here you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You sent him some clips of your act, and then he never bothered you again. <laughs> 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 Wasn't as cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I bothered you. <laughs> <laughs> no, he turns I, it up to a high pitch. <laughs> Sounds like a kid. I'm, I'm cured. <laughs> 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 I've never wanted to fuck another boy yeah. since I saw what those boys became. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kills a dream. I can't even watch penguins anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what's funny? We got a. My buddy was telling me, he goes, I had to go back a little bit to figure out what's with all the penguin references. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so if, if you're niche. listening, yeah, he, these guys do a bit. How does. Well, I won't ask. The bit. The bit yeah, the, it's on, it was on AGT. It's yeah, a bit. It's on AGT. That, That's uh, all they need. And they can find yeah. that out. Cause it, that pretty much the whole joke is like, we can't pick up women together. When the three of us go and approach a woman, it looks like the March of the Penguins. And then we waddle. And, you know, it's all <laughs> cute and shit. It's and fucking adorable. Hey, Great it work, joke. man. Hey, Frosted and Flake sells a lot of fucking cereal. If that shit works, oh, it works. Oh, it destroys every single it. time. There's three Frosted Flakes. And sell it. <laughs> <laughs> well, like Special K, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> unlucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crap trick. Crunch. Uh, tricks. No need to add uh, milk. Oh uh, yeah. Count Hecula. <laughs> <laughs> Stinking oh. berry. All right. That's enough. A- Apple hacks. Honey nut cherry nose. Oh, there You're doing go. so good. Just Mother proved fucker. it. Just proved it. Duh. Uh, uh, all <laughs> of us have gotten greedy. Probably uh, <laughs> one time or another. I don't know. So we got a Marxist. We, we <laughs> shot him down for America. I want to say Howie Mandel laughed at that bit, but you never know. That in the editing, they could have just cut him laughing at something else. <laughs> no, he did Technically laugh. on television, it appeared yeah. that he laughed. Oh, yeah, you were there, yeah. It did. Well, <laughs> it did. I can't talk about And the hot, what's her name, that hot chick? Um, Mel B and uh, Heidi. Yeah, Heidi yeah, Fine. Yeah. She loved it. Yeah. Oh, God. I'll tell you this, though. You know, a uh, wild fucking crowd was that Camp Pendleton crowd. Um, I was doing so. I'll, I'll How wild do, were they? <laughs> God, I, just want more, I want more whiskey. <laughs> that sounded. That sounded threatening. Had a taste. You sounded like the censor watching Here their fucking act. I'm tired of being married. <laughs> sound like their agent. <laughs> I don't even have an agent, so. Oh, shit. Um. <laughs> we know we're at Camp Pendleton. <laughs> So, Eric Roach is there. Thank you, brother. <laughs> a lot of men around. <laughs> so, yeah, we're at Camp Pendleton. He calls it a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, fucking Fanto just lit that play. He, He's he, a murderer. That's, that's one of the hardest I've ever seen that guy crush. Is He crushes, but holy fuck, he was on another level. Yeah. It was just, I haven't seen him crush like that. I was like, fuck. Mm. So I went up. And uh, I I said I'm gay, but I said something with you know, but I I say fag or whatever, and I'm not shit you. The military, these guys were like, yeah, fag. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> so I go, wait, who said that? And they were like, eh. like, like you already said it. And I go, who said it? And he's like, he did. And I go, this fucking Benedict Arnold motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> And then, yeah, I go, did you see how quick? I go, that makes me weep for the future, how quick you were easy to sell him out to a gay guy, you pussy. <laughs> but, like, that was the thing of those. Those guys are so fucking wild. And yeah. Fanto just woke him up, and I'm not shitting you. That was probably the hardest crowd work I had to fight back for. Mm. And, like, I, I must have threatened rape on five Marines that night. It was like, holy <laughs> shit, like... Please shut the fuck up. Let me do my act. Yeah, and it was it was a no. It was like fuck it. Then we're just doing crowd work, and they were a blast though. Yeah, After, yeah, yeah. They 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 had fun. Everybody was laughing. So then afterwards, they're coming up though, and hey, what's your Instagram and all that other shit? And it's like, oh fuck yeah, cool. But again, you can say anything you want to to these guys. 
Oh no, just literally anywhere else outside of LA, you can say whatever the fuck oh, you want. Oh, I miss that. You well, I don't know though. <laughs> I don't know because that it was a kind of a conservative audience in San Diego, right, Lukester? Have you ever been to San Diego? Yeah, the, you had to fight a little bit harder with the with the gay stuff. Oh really? They weren't going for it. But there was well, he's there not the most believable of, of gays. But there's a lot of black people in the audience too, and black people are even more less apt to go along with gay stuff. I've noticed. They had, black had, audiences like. And I don't want to sound racist here, but they like a show. They like entertainment. No, it's not, but they seem to have more problem with gay people than almost any other ethnic group when you talk. Well, did you see Dave Chappelle's special? <coughs> yes. <laughs> no, I did not. I, oh, can't, it, I, can't, I can't stand Dave Chappelle. I actually like the special a lot. You might like it. I won't. I okay. guarantee I won't. <laughs> you don't I, like I think he's the most fucking overrated art, really? artist, quote unquote, in the last fucking huh? twenty years. I like. It. He's. I don't think he's bad. I just think he's overrated. I don't think he's that funny. I'm not offended by what I don't give a shit, but. I just I don't want to sit there and just be told what a scumbag I am because I'm white and just listen to his fucking proselytizing, which is all he that he fucking that. does. That's no, so he does. does. I don't think he does. Uh, his last, yeah, his last special was called what? Eight fucking oat. What was the amount of time before fucking uh, George Floyd died? It, uh, fucking, that, that's what he named his special. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I can't. I fucking can't stand. I'm so tired of him. People well, this yeah, one literally. Like, I don't. This one's more like LGBTQ. He's literally like forty oh, he's minutes. Pretty that. heavy on. Yeah. 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 He's, you know, you do I, enough yeah. fucking talking, you're going to say shit, people. Well, yeah. if enough people tell you you're a fucking genius 24 yeah, fucking well, 7, yeah, then maybe. you just start going, I don't even need to write jokes anymore. I can just literally say anything and people go, oh, oh he, a- he, a- actually, he actually had more jokes than he usually does. He, did. he actually like, more, like, the literally set a punchline. I, yeah, I, 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 I still think Sticks and Stones. Um, oh, my God. Yeah. I love oh. Sticks and Stones. I loved that. Was that from early 2000? Yeah. Exactly. Well, no, no, no. No, no. It was 2000. Like it was a couple of years, yeah, or two, yeah, years 16, oh. two years ago. Yeah, sixteen, two years ago. Even, even the um, fantastic. What is it? He's a genius. Age of Spin. Uh, I, yeah. I thought it was good, but it was just like, yeah. I, it's again though, like that first show. It was like I've I've had black people tell me they're like, yeah, it's 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 tough being gay and black. Yeah, and I was like. Well, you know, we can't compare, but then I, I remember dating this... Oh, he was so cute. Sorry. This... Oh, his name was Brandon. He was amazing. And... Uh, <laughs> He's sweating. I know, right? And, <laughs> dude, I I believed him. Like, his, he was black, and he was out, and he was gay. He was great to his nieces and nephews, but I could fucking feel just, like, the glares Oh, yeah. And they were they they he was family they accepted him but I can tell you man I I wouldn't fucking I wouldn't want to go back there they don't even like when you date when you, interracial dating black people hate that way well, more I than was, white people I think I, we were worried about that too because I was like fuck I hope he doesn't get mad that and then it was like fuck this man like that's again do you think he'd have gotten they, they're probably mad that he said people, people people think people think that like I'm <laughs> I'm I'm homophobic and I'm like I'm not fucking homophobic like. <laughs> I'll tell anybody to fuck off if they don't like that I'm gay. Like, I, I don't give a shit. It's just the whole point of it is it's being on stage and trying to be funny. Yeah. That's, 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 that's always been the fucking I don't even know you're gay until though. you start talking about who you no fuck. No one does. Yeah, that's, that's the thing of it, though. And it was just like, that's why Joey always used to tell me, he's like, hit him hard with the gay shit. And I was like, why? And he goes, because you're still afraid of it. <laughs> and he's like, fucking hit him with it. And he goes, and if they don't like him, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I remember being in the car. You can ag- ask Agostino Zoni. Mm-hmm. He was like, fuck them. And he's like, they don't like them. Fuck them. And he goes, you got to make them like you. And I was like, all right, all right, I will. <laughs> I going to beat the shit out of me. But like that did, was. Did Lee jerk the wheel every time he yelled? <laughs> <laughs> but that was. The cop pulls him over. Come that that was it, loop. though. Is it was just like, I didn't, I didn't mind that because it was just. Especially because one thing is I want to get booked at that club game. But here's what was great. There was all those comics were still were still so fucking awesome to me. And yeah. they didn't give a They're fuck. They're so they nice. Like, Everyone is so fucking nice down there. Yeah. And they were like, hey, dude, great set. Great set. Great. And it was just like, yeah. yeah. And then we were talking. And I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to pull back. Like, those were the jokes that I wanted to tell that night. And then I was like, okay, here's what I want to do. I want to have more fun. I want to enjoy this shit. And what I realized was I backed off. I, I opened with some other shit, but then I went hard into the paint with the gay shit. And <laughs> fuck yeah. Like then, then I could go harder than I did before. Yeah. But it was just like, okay, how adversarial do I want to be versus I want to stay just ahead of them so that 
Is this your master class or what? No, I loved it. Like, yeah. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should take it from what I just saw, you <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> Uh, but that's well, we don't have a crutch like being gay, you know. The word yeah, yeah, you don't have a crutch. <laughs> you don't? I got three of them. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gay. You, you do a Christmas carol, and there's three crutches by the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. But I don't know. It's I, I I loved it. It was it was fun, and it's fucking. You did great. It, it was just good. feels so weird. I it, it's so fucking weird. It wasn't. It wasn't like super. I know because I've seen you so many times. I, I can I can feel the the lack of I, I can feel they were holding back is because of the gay stuff. But that's gonna, yeah. that's gonna be anywhere though. That's gonna but be any Midwest yeah. audience, any Southern audience. Like, yeah, they're go, they're gonna be like that until you beat them into submission. Well, mm-hmm. and two, like I'm doing ten minutes. Yeah, you don't have and enough I'm time like, oh, to develop give that. Me, like, g- yeah, give me give me some time to stretch, and I'll fucking yeah. But like I said, it was. Well, you haven't done your whole life. So. It was solid. <laughs> 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 something, something stretch marks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so why aren't you drinking? Uh, cutting. I got to cut for a uh, some a project coming up in January. Oh, so January. Gotta, it's fucking October. Holy, she wears my watch. I know. I know. <laughs> I gotta be. I gotta be shredded for it. So, what the fuck does drinking have to do with it? Uh, that's my biggest problem with like. Uh, I thought you said Drake. Drake. Was Drake have <laughs> drinking? Was Drake Sorry, Drake very good. Yeah. I don't know. I was trying to cut out booze, and then like I know during the holidays I'm gonna cheat a little bit, so I'm trying to get get ahead of it now, and then you're all pretty. Look, you're all pretty fucking. You yeah, fuckers. but this well, is like well, everybody well, but Sean. But you're not. You're not. You're not <laughs> chugging beer out of the funnel. You're, if you just have some, oh, whiskey. I drink a lot of beer actually. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but on this show, you well, yeah, yeah. you'd be sipping. I mean, I'm just trying to cut it out all for right. now at least. All I'll right. bring it back. I well, and that Wait, and also like say he said, usually drink like four a night, which is that's like an apple pie. Well, I've been oh, pretty shit. bad for like speaking of which, most of quarantine. What are you hungry? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I could use some I am. apple pie. <laughs> I'm pretty hungry. I am too. What time is Mel's open till? I think so. Who's 11? fucking me? Let's eat. Uh, it's fucking ten thirty. Norm's Norm. is there. Norm's is open. That's just down the road. Ah, uh, Norm. <laughs> I also not, not much use for the three cent. Where's Norm's? Where's that? A new one? It's yeah. down the one you were talking about. Yeah. Oh, and well, Cino. That's not down the road. Yes, it is. I I fucking... Yeah, it's not far. All right. Anyways, long story short, that's why I'm not drinking. Usually... But be like... Sorry. What's up? No, sorry. It's a line from oh. fucking douche. But like, <laughs> what happens to Luke from fucking Boogie Nights? I go, you were you wearing? Encino? Canoga? <laughs> <laughs> you see that new Paul Tom? Did you, did you see that Paul Tom Sanderson trailer? Negative. Was that uh, for yours? No. They showed it before mine. Before my uh, Dude, I was James late. Bond. I was... Uh, oh. Yeah, I was... Yeah. Yeah. The 27 trailers they show before a movie. I don't, my God. It's That's fucking the one dude, thing I miss. I miss so much about the arc light was you got two oh. commercials and that was it. You paid all that extra money, but yep. it was worth it. Three beer. fucking, yeah, two trailers and a feature, Kept man. Kept out Riff Raff. Yeah. Oh, isn't that worth the fucking money? It was. It was like, fuck. It was legitimately, I for the many saints, it was a half hour of, of preview. So yeah. I'm not even yeah. kidding. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's like 25 it ridiculous. minutes. ridiculous. No joke, yeah. It's like twenty something minute trailers, and then like three or four like movie commercials, like a whole thing about a fucking two and a half minute long animation so about a coke and a fucking popcorn. At what popcorn. point did you go? I could have sat at home and done this on HBO. That's why I usually don't no. even. I check the Fandango so app, bad. and there's like eight seats in the whole theater. I'm like, dude, like we're gonna witness the, the end of fucking movie theaters in our lifetime because no one's going. Uh, oh, mine was empty. Like yeah. I had I seven people. Are, in dude, I, I think you guys are right. Yeah. I usually think your prophecies are bullshit, <laughs> but. <laughs> I, I really do think you're right about it this sucks. theater. It sucks. Too bad. It's gonna be a little niche. It'll be there'll be a couple like New Beverly type places. That'll be it. It's like as far as like mass distribution of like film. Like or, no. I mean, they're digital prints anyway. But I'll like be, I'll be taking Mitchell, courting him like fucking <laughs> Travis Bickle. Do you come with me to a movie? <laughs> It'll be a no, gay porno. Lot, lots of couples come to see these. <laughs> lots of couples. Yeah, come on, bring bring your the lesbian haircut. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only movies I can see possibly filling these up are like the big, like those are the only ones superhero movies. See. That's the Dude, only one. Who knows? James Bond didn't fucking bring anybody. Like no one. I was gonna say, yeah. Really? I didn't have yeah. shit at mine. Yeah. 
Huh. So, so I usually don't even show up until if the movies are like three ten. I'll get there at like fucking three twenty five because like, I can see how many seats were sold. I yeah. can sit anywhere. Why would you go see a drama at the film at the movie? I like my TV's fucking I like sixty going inches. To... Who gives a shit? I like yeah. going to movies. I, I, I like a I big still screen. Love, yeah, I, still I can't love... check my phone and get distracted. And I'm stuck. <laughs> like I, yep. I need the that. no interruptions with an audience too. No, like, like sci-fi stuff, big budget shit. I agree, but like a drama. I like it. Like I'm gonna I like go. See I, it. I agree with him because I had to piss the entire time I was watching Men in New York, and I'm like, all right, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. It's gonna like peak up, and then I was like holding my piss for two fucking hours, no. and I wanted to piss. I should have just pissed the commercials. They were so fucking long. Yeah, but no. yeah, I get, I get, I get people's point on watching it at home. I like totally get it, but I'm. It was I'm the experience just, I'm just a huge of the movie. If you like, if you like, like, if you like getting a popcorn and like. The whole I like experience. the ritual of it. I love it. I yeah. like going to a theater. It gives me something to do. I get out of the fucking house for a couple hours. Yeah. It's I and this is gonna get deep. This is oh. it's the <laughs> it's the collective unconsciousness of, of an audience. That's what I've always loved. Is, is I love true. laughing. Like I what? remember seeing Ferris Bueller when it sold out. And huh. when when Ed Rooney showed up and he's like, huh. Ferris Bueller has been absent nine times. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody in the audience goes, Nine times. like you could hear people like giggling and laughing at that shit. Yeah. Or when uh, he plays a never had a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> everybody started laughing. Or when uh uh Shauna. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was lucky enough to see Delirious and Raw in the theaters. So oh, oh shit. Fucking see, yeah. great. Yeah, that, but that's that's what I love about, like, uh, there was that, seeing The Exorcist in theater yeah. was fucking yeah. great. The I saw, Shining, yeah. The first when, time I ever saw The Warriors was at the Egyptian oh, fuck, with yeah. Walter Hill. In the, he was there, and he did a little fucking introduction of it. Really? And then he sat in the audience with us, and everyone, I'd never huh. seen him before, and everyone was yelling the line. It was fucking great. It was oh. like a party. There was yeah. like fucking 300 people and just screaming all the Warriors lines and shit, yeah. but like it, was fu- it was so fun. It was, well, it was fucking shit, awesome. That shit is gone because the theaters are fucking empty now. Well, no. to The Shining, when uh, when he's being interviewed for the caretaker position, when uh, he's like, <laughs> he got an axe and he chopped up his family. Yeah. And then like there's a scene where you look at Jack and Jack just goes, well, I can assure you that that won't happen here, Mr. <laughs> and everybody in the theater started laughing. And I was like, this is so fucking cool. Like, yeah. this is this They're is why you show. go to movies. Same thing. Like, yeah, with, with these people is because it's just like, oh, everybody else feels this fucking way, too. It was it was amazing. So that's that's still why I like going is like, yeah, oh, The Exorcist was awesome. It was so loud, too, because like, yeah. everybody bitches about how fucking loud movies are. I'm going to be deaf by the time I'm fucking You bitch fit, at dude. concerts, too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. I don't know, but I'm telling you, man. What about you? Do you... You don't... He just said you, you don't I, like... I don't right? watch all the movies. I, I've never been like, the biggest fan of movies. Why do you not movie. watch movies? I had video games growing up. We always fucked around doing other things. It's in sports and shit. I don't watch too many. No, you yeah. seem to have a pretty good. Yeah, palette, you seem like a movie guy. Uh, I get ten minutes into a lot of shit and go, I don't care. Well, me yeah. too, but <laughs> you seem to like you subject yourself to I a lot more a lot of wider ski movies. Yeah, oh, I watch I a you. lot of ski movies. I'm a douchebag. You love the ski. So man. Roman Polanski. Yes. I'm no like fucking stuff. Handron Seavey. I love to go. <laughs> I'm a douchebag. I'm the everyman. I'm What's Handron's story? He doesn't like skiing? Douche- Han- no, Dude, Handron he was, was an Olympic fucking... level coach. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. What the fuck? Did he talk about skier. that on yeah. here? Yeah. No, he was watching the, the, the fucking, fucking dog. dog interrupt him while he was telling. I didn't know Very that. Very I'll ever fucking be. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't know. He yeah, didn't fucking no. mention it at all. Dude's a fucking badass. Holy shit. He yep. was. He was really something. Yeah. Um, well, what, what happened? Why did he stop? He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> we He's dead we to our audience. Story. <laughs> yeah, stand up. <laughs> no shit. Wow. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. He was a fucking great skier, but I wish I could ski some of these verses. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just get on a, s- a snowboard. Let's we, find that hill. Snowboard's like improv. We'll th- <laughs> Let's close your eyes, Versy. It'll be cool. <laughs> 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 I stood at the top of a ski hill once ever, and I was like, "You got to be out of your fucking mind!" It was like a ninety degree straight oh, drop. I was like, "Get the fuck that. out of here!" I wouldn't go down here on a sled. Get the fuck! <laughs> I got out of there. <laughs> well, yeah, definitely not a sled because that's a fucking. Well, you straight got no shot way to down, fucking yeah. turn. <laughs> yeah, or stop. Yeah, that was not adjust your speed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, what a I got a snowboard. Example. <laughs> 
when I was in like sixth grade, I got a snowboard because I wanted to be like edgy, and it was the old school ones that looked like one. It was like a shape like one big giant ski, which is two fucking leg things. Yes, in it. it was awful. All I did was fall on it's it. The best stuff. It was terrible. <laughs> you jump over creeks. And well, that it wasn't shit. like, but it didn't really work, and I was just a big fucking. You grew up in Colorado, Linux. New York. Like, didn't you? We all fucked around with that shit, right? We just went sledding on really fucking up? dangerous hills and shit. That was fun. Sorry, where? All right, no snow there. there no snow in Simi Oh, there was Valley. a different kind of snow with him. No one of oh, some of the fun snow. Yeah. I never tried that. The snow. Robert Downey Jr. Never, kind. Fifty years old. I haven't fucking. I'd love to try coke. I've I don't want to die. I don't want to look at my say, kid and go, Dad just had to know what coke felt like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too afraid I'll like it way too much. I know I will. I can't. I won't even fucking try it because I know I'll be all about it. That's happened to Tom Sizemore. He did one fucking line and he was like, well, I'm fucked for the rest of my life. And he was. You know what? I don't know. There are worse rides in this world. (laughs) I don't know. It doesn't seem like that one ends very well. I don't know. You'll be fine. (laughs) I'm not. No. I, I'm very addictive and oh. watch this is gonna be the famous one where no I, shit. I'm like no, you, it's not addictive yeah. am I behind the music eight this years later the- I'm fucking dead from a coke overdose oh god bless <laughs> yeah. he, meant, he meant the soda <laughs> thank god I didn't get any money as a young man I'd be fucking dead now died of a milkshake overdose <laughs> Are you kidding me so much fun yeah an IV bag <laughs> How much fun you'd be having right before death? How much fun? He, he wanted driving to... an expensive car, and doing a bunch of coke. <laughs> How much fun you'd be having before you died? Luke, Luke, here's a shoebox. He wanted you to have his toes. <laughs> <sighs> it weighs like 18 pounds. Is <laughs> <laughs> there gravy coming out of this one? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Fucking trophy prize hunting. <laughs> Kick him up, make him a little Elephant chicken feet. chicken tenders. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> Elephant feet. <laughs> Those are thick toes. We kept all the gout intact. <laughs> Not a lot of elephant feet on fetish porn. <laughs> Miss Rocha, Miss Rocha, you want me to throw away these pickle legs? <laughs> oh, no, those are his toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all I have left. <laughs> One of those, the pinky one's got a little ring on it. Yeah. <laughs> the rainbow on it. Oh. <laughs> Still read the inscription. <laughs> <laughs> Suck oh, here. Shit. Murph, we love you, man. Where can we find you? Nowhere. <laughs> off the grid? Honestly, nowhere. Yeah. You're off Honestly, the grid. I have no social God media. I, I wish I had get those no shows. I have Smart. No, good. I Fuck it. It's not worth with, it. I love people. I love by I came up with a, I met a good bunch of fucking people, and that's who I spent my time with. Honestly, well, let us know who they are yeah. so we can hang out with them, too. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, man, I, I love, whenever I see you at a mic or I see you somewhere, I, I get excited. I'm like, fuck oh, you. Yeah. God bless. Here. God Me bless. Too. Oh, Those yeah. are hours I cannot drop. I don't care what happens. I'm like, I can't drop off the hour because Fred Murder Fred Murphy's there. I'm not <laughs> fucking missing it. You are loved, sir. Well, God yeah. bless. And you, you, <laughs> keep, you, believe you keep a family with a husband and a father. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have driven off a fucking bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Mary Jo Capecni. <laughs> <laughs> well, if only I could hang out with Kennedy's. Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> uh, on my right. At Mitchell Verthy at Verthy Triplets. Nashville, October 24th, 4 p.m. at Zany's. Go check it out. All righty. On my left. Luke Allen at Uncle Luke 2 on Instagram, live from the 405 podcast. Oh, we got some information. God God just did that. He didn't want anyone to hear any more of me. <laughs> it does Fred, we love you, man. God bless. Uh-huh.